Hello, student. Uh, this is uh, project life cycle. So I have delivered you the three lectures on your paper, project finance appraisal. And this is the fourth video that I'm going to share with you on the topic, the project life cycle. Today, I'm going to discuss about project life cycle. Last, in the last lectures, I have told you about the what is the meaning of project. And today you will come to know the phases in the project life cycle. And we will also examine the significant activities and implications to the path a project takes from initiation to closure. So see that what are the stages in the project life cycle. So you see the first stage is the initiation stage. Second stage is the planning stage. Third is the execution stage. And fourth is the closure stage. Initiation. Initiation, it means when the idea comes into your mind that we can start a project. So initiation is related with getting the idea into your mind that you want to start a business and you are looking to start a project. So the first stage is the initiation stage. Then according to your idea, you plan that how you are going to implement that particular idea. And in the execution stage, whatever you have planned, whatever the activities you have planned to achieve your target of the project, you execute according to the plan. And finally, in the closure stage, you achieve your target. So let us see one by one the four stages of the project life cycle. The project manager and project team have one shared goal and to carry out the work of the project for the purpose of meeting the project's objectives. Every project has a beginning, a middle period during which activities move the project toward completion and an ending either successful or unsuccessful. So it's, you can correlate uh, these lines with your study that when you enter into a new semester, it is have a beginning day and it is also having a closing day. And during your semester period, you prepare for the results that you want to achieve at the end of your semester or trimester. So you here you see that as like a semester or trimester, your project is also having one beginning date and one closing date. And finally, when the project is going to get closed, you will achieve your goal either successfully or you are not going to achieve your goal and you become unsuccessful. A standard project typically has the following four major phases as we have seen initiation, planning, implementation, and closure. Taken together, these phases represent the path a project takes from the beginning to its end and are generally referred as the project life cycle. So in the project life cycle, you must know that there are four stages. The first stage is the initiation stage. It means you get the idea. Planning stage, it means according to the idea you plan. And in the third stage, this is the implementation stage. It means whatever you have planned, the activities you have planned, you implement, you execute, and finally you get the goal of your project. Initiation phase, planning phase, execution phase, and project closure phase. So the project life cycle starts from the initiation phase. It means here you come to know that what you want to achieve, in the planning stage, you plan that how you are going to perform your planned project. And execution phase, it means whatever you have planned according to your idea, you execute your plan. And finally, the project closure stage, it means you monitor, you control, and in this way, you achieve your target of the project. So initiation phase, during the first phase of these uh, phases, the initiation phase, the project objective need is to be identified. It means the initiation, as I said to you, that this is the time when you get your idea. So once you become, you can say, satisfied that yes, this project can be started, 
you move to the next phase. This is the planning phase. The next phase, the planning phase, is where the project solution is further developed in as much detail as possible and the steps necessary to meet the project's objectives are planned. So now we come back to the example. Suppose uh, you get the project to construct a bridge. So now, uh, if, as a contractor, if you are getting the contract uh, to construct a bridge on a river, you will have to plan that in which way and what will be the steps to construct the bridge over the river. So the planning phase, it means you come to know and you identify that what are the steps uh, we must perform to get our work done. And finally, you will want uh, to document a quality plan, providing quality targets, assurance, control measures, along with an acceptance plans, and listing the criteria to make to gain customer acceptance. So, again, I would like to say that whatever the work you perform, there must be the quality standards so that customer, they will accept your product or the service or whatever the business you are starting to produce goods and services for the customer. So there is always the requirement that whatever you are planning to perform, there must be the quality standard in that so that the customer will accept. And the implementation stage has already told you that the third stage is the implementation stage, which is also called as execution phase. It means whatever you plan, now you are going to execute that plan. And when you execute your plan, definitely, if you work according to your plan, there are maximum chances that you will achieve your target. You see the figure here, the first stage is the start uh, where you are defining that what you want to achieve in the future. Then there is the planning stage. It means you, uh, you write down the, the activities that you are going to perform to achieve your target. And in the third stage, this is the execution stage. Execution it means you will implement your idea to achieve your target and finally the closure stage. फिर से एक बार बात कर ले हमलोग जो पहला stage है आपका वो initiation stage जब आपके पास कोई idea आ रहा है planning stage उस idea को आप practical shape देना शुरू कर रहे हैं आप plan कर रहे हैं चीजों को लिख रहे हैं कि कैसे हम अपने उस goal को achieve करेंगे execution मतलब जो काम आपको दिया गया है जो प्रोजेक्ट आपको मिला है उसके लिए जो प्लानिंग आपने करी है उसको आप एक्सक्यूट करते हो और फाइनली आप अपने क्लोजर टाइम पीरियड पर आते हो जहां पर आप अपने प्रोजेक्ट को क्लोज करने जा रहे हो ये प्रोजेक्ट क्लोज होने का कारण है ये क्लोज वो प्रोजेक्ट कंप्लीट हो गया है अब आप उसको क्लोज कर रहे हो इट मीन्स दिस इज द एंड स्टेज ऑफ द क्लोजिंग फेज सो this is the last phase, the closing phase. And during the final closure or completion phase, the emphasis is on releasing the final deliverable to the customer, uh, handing over project documentation to the business and terminating supplier contracts, releasing projects resources, and communicating the closure of the project to all stakeholders. So in this way, uh, finally, now you're going to close. It means now your project is on the end stage or completion stage. Now here you will close the project. So you see again, the, there are four stages identifying. It means you identify that what you want to do. And you now the next stage is the plan. It means the when you get the idea, that is the beginning stage of project life cycle, identification, then planning, then execution, and then closure. So today you have got the idea that uh, what is project life cycle? Project life cycle is having the four stages, initiation stage, planning stage, execution stage, and closure stage. So initiation phase, it means here you identify that what you want to achieve, what you want to do. Planning phase, whatever you want to do, you plan for that. Execution stage, it means whatever you have planned, you work according to that, and you start according to your plan. And finally, the closure, it means this is the closing phase where you have completed your task. So this task will be completed either successfully or unsuccessfully. So thank you for uh, listening to the video. And uh, I'm again saying that uh, you all 
listen the video carefully, go through the PPT and get the idea about the project life cycle. So in the next uh, video, I'm going to share some more topics on your subject PFA. Thank you.